feet is in the window like it's all on the ocean. Uh. 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 In the land of freedom, selling dough like it's my only option. Too much weight to flush, it's in the safe house, case of police knocking. Someone at the door, we got an off whoever told you about it. 30 clip, I get it doing math, I heard they wanted problems. 30 perk, don't even get a high, she put it in her sinus. $30,000 in the safe, off of Mossy Cotton. Either fall in line or clear the way, you gon' fall behind us. Caught the crib and build the wall so tall, it's gon' be hard. What's up guys, I'm Art Statue Collector. Welcome to my channel and my first room tour of the year. Now in 2022, I had a lot of pieces that came in and I did a top 10, you can go check that out later. But I'm running out of room, man, as you're going to be seeing. Uh, just sit back, relax and enjoy, man. Going in like Kobe shot it Trying to play the warrior You end up out in Coney Island On some private water By the time the law can try to find me I've been on these tracks So high as hell That's right in Shikari It's a fast life I got the memories all on my body Showcase all my art At an exhibit if I ever die Military grade artillery Made to protect narcotics Nowadays if you ain't never flexed it Then you never bought it It don't even look good They just worry about how much it costs you I say in the cut All I keep in that shit to is awesome Fuck that we ain't even talking Fucking and I'm leaving off the he gon' always score the team, just gotta try to keep him off him. If you got the keys and you can't treat it like your secret knowledge Plan to seize your family, gon' eat plus you gon' feed your part Plan for keeps the family all right guys, welcome to my gallery. It's not as big as you guys think. It's only 15 by seven meters. So what we have here is the display in the front with wheel so I can move it around. And what you see here are the four horsemen prototypes that I got in and reviewed. Thank you XM Studios and Toys King for that. So this is my main display where I do my review and stuff. And coming into the front, you're gonna see the Queen Studio Batman on Throne and Prime One Studio the Joker. And on this side, I also have the Batman Who Laugh on Throne by Queen Studio as well. Great piece. I haven't done the review of it yet. Sorry, Rashid. All right, and on this display, this is Prime One Studios all one third scale. This is the Dark Knight's metal line that I got going here. I'm planning on having all of them, but I don't know which shelf I'm going to be putting them on permanently right now. So this is what they are. And then you have the Superman Hush, the Batman Hush, Nightwing Hush, Bane, Deathstroke, and the new Batman Detective 1000. Pretty cool. The way that I design this display is custom. Everything that you see in here are custom. I also make the cabinet for the parts. Like up top here, this is where I keep all the head scope. And the second shelf where I keep all the arms. And then down here, just whatever, like the bus, anything that's bigger, I'll just keep it down here. So this is how I design them. So I just want to keep everything out of the box, mostly. Let's go on this shelving. This is for basically the one fourth scale. I plan on actually having all the XM line in here, but I had to put others in here as well because I don't have enough space. And what you see up top there is the Queen Studios, Wonder Woman 1984. And that's the Dark Knights Return by XM and another Queen Studio Dark Side. On the second shelf here are all DC classic by XM Studios. So we got Doomsday, then we got Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner, Satana, The Flash, Swamp Thing, Supergirl, Red Hood Samurai, and The Riddler prototype, which I will be doing a review of them together soon. And then we have some X-Men pieces over here. along with Apocalypse and Archangel as well. And now we have the diorama piece. 
This is Prime One Studio near Automata. It's the piece which I didn't really care for in the beginning, but I pre-ordered day one. I'm j I just know nothing about it. After I unboxed it, I had to keep it, man. It's just that good. And then we have the Devastator prototype by XM Studios. I will be doing a review of this later. Okay, and then we have the Batman on bike from White Knight Comics. This is one of the awesome pieces in my collection and it just has so much presence here. Okay, and down low, you have the Heath Ledger Joker and Bale Batman by Queen Studios. I really do love this. These are one third scale. Also, this is the JND Harley Quinn, also one third scale. And the uh, Lee Bermejo Joker, one of the best Joker I've ever seen sculpted. Same as the Harley. This is the Arkham City. I really love that. It's the only one that I have from the line. And then, of course, we have the Hulk transformation. Rhino. Mark 7 from Sideshow. That's the only Sideshow piece I have. And then here we have the Cyberpunk piece. This is from Econ Studio in Thailand. It's yeah, sculpted by Thai person and I think painted by Titinan. So that's a gift. Shout out to them. We have the 1 4 scale Queen Studio with the artificial hair right here. Looking really good. Also, Wonder Woman bust by Queen as well. All right, and over here you have the Justice Buster, which I did a review of it already. I think it's awesome. And then this display is basically, you can move it around as well. So I usually use this to do my review or live unboxing, but it's taken right now. I don't know where to put him yet. So that's why he'll be. And then we have the Justice League Batman over here, one third scale by Prime One Studio. And this is my main display. So you're gonna see Batman versus Joker Dragon, a diorama that looks really awesome right there. But it's probably not gonna be right here the whole time. I can find a spot for it. And then the one four scale Queen Studio, Wonder Woman. And in the back, you see War Tank and War Machine and Iron Man and Hulkbuster, my so-called grail right there, man. My Hulkbuster, it's uh, the first piece I ever bought in statues, so it has sentimental value to me. All right, and then we have Jon Snow by Prime One Studio. I really do like the look of it, and I wasn't planning on keeping it. Also, what I have in my room is the air purifier right here. I think every collector needs to have one in their room. It will help with the dust and everything. And I have the fire extinguisher as well, just in case. But I also have everything in here insured. So, never know. Moving to the Marvel Studios display. Here, the Queen Studios of Venom life-size bust. And Magneto Custom. Also the Arch Angel up there. Silver Surfer, painted by Chichinan as well. And Cyclops, so it's a Sentinel. Of course the one-third scale, Prime One Studio, Wonder Woman Rebirth, looking really good. Here we have the Mark 7 Life Size Bus and Mark 85 by Queen Studios. And this is the XM Studio G1 Transformer Starscream. It is on sale right now. And up here, you have the LBS Hulk. This is the production sample. So I finished reviewing it. You can go check them out, but I gotta send it back pretty soon. And this is my number one in my top 10 list of 2023. So you got a Jet Wing from Prime One Studio. It took a lot of us to carry this thing up here. That was a hassle. And Megatron as well, looking really good right here.
definitely looks really good. And then we have the half scale Mark One by Queen Studios. I might keep this, I might not. Depends. Then moving here, on the other side, you have the half scale Captain America by Queen as well. Silicone, glass eyes. A little bit overscale, but love it. And then we have the Infinity Studios Bat Flag right here. And this is the latest piece that came into my place. The Wonder Woman Gal Gadot. Looking really awesome, except she looks really small compared to um, Bat Flag, but that's how it's supposed to be. So I think that goes really well together. And then we have the Grey Hole. This is LBS, also a production sample. You can see here, sitting right next to that Thor and Captain America looking really good. And then we have the one fourth scale Skyhawk on Throne by Queen as well right here, but I am probably going to be selling this. And then we have the Blitzway, Marilyn Monroe. This is a gift for my mom, but she kind of let me display it here. And up top, you have the LBS Magneto. This is one third scale. I think it's the best Magneto out there. To the main display right here, my centerpiece, you can see the Thanos life-size bust. And then the one fourth scale Hulk Buster right down on the ground. So I just want to make it kind of like a big diorama. Just you can pan your eyes all the way through. You have the Hulk bust on either side here from LBS. And a couple of one four scale from the Avengers Endgame or their movie pieces. Here's the Vision bust that I not too kind for. Now there's Spider Man. The first appearance in the movie MCU. And we have here Bumblebee Battle Damage version by Prime One Studio. I am probably going to be selling this piece soon. And another custom, this is um, Ultimate Spider Man or something like that. I'm not sure. Couple parts from the G1. And here you have the one four scale comic version of Iron Spider and Captain Marvel. Another G1 piece from XM. All right, and over here you got a Tom Holland Iron Spider from the end game. Also this life-size bus from Infinity War, looking really cool. And this is where I do my work, whether I would do live unboxing, editing the clip, or whatever I need to do for my job. It just kind of turned this way right now, but usually the screen will be facing back here. And behind here, you got stuff from Toy Laxi that they want me to place over here. So I just kind of put it here, but I don't really collect this stuff myself. But I am really intrigued about the little Iron Man diorama over here, which I did bought myself. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, and something I recently added are the blinds. Those are electric blinds up there. And I only have two right here, and I put another film at the front door, so just to reduce more sunlight coming in. Even though I have the UV film, and it doesn't really affect my statue anyways, but just in case, to keep the temperature pretty cool in the room as well. That's about it, man. That's my room, my gallery. So it's gonna be uh, changing throughout the time, like new pieces coming in, old pieces going out.
Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. Just a young kid from the Rift. Mm. With a dream, I would do it big. Mm. They said I was smoking, but I never tried to sing. They was going out to play, but I would stay up in the crib, writing how I lived on this paper. Mm. Some told me I was weird. Some told me get your paper. California living, cause California my nature. Ding dong ditch was always disturbing neighbors. Parkside Village, never forget where I came from. When I get on, gon' change up. Nah, homie, we major. Home of the Rams, Dodgers, and the Lakers. Remember, used to ride shotgun, he would take us. On that 91 pot plant, sun out, windows down. So I yell at every time I'm on these stages. All right, man, that's it for the room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This year, I'm gonna have so many more statues coming in, including the prototype as well. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of live unboxing and reviews. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys want me to do a tour of my venue right here at the Tall Trees, just let me know down in the comment. If a lot of people are asking for it, I will do it for you guys. All right, thank you for watching and take care, guys. Peace. Couches in my mama's best sheets and mess around and build a fortune.